Welcome one and all. My name is Mr. Curly and I know what you're thinking. Same t-shirt. Yeah. Give yourself a pat on the back. You guessed it. It's recorded on the same day with the previous video. There you go. But the thing is, yeah, as I mentioned, sometimes I'm having this opportunity to record multiple videos. Uh, quickly address the reason for that once again. Might have forgotten to tell that beforehand, but uh, as you know, in the university, you have a roommate and stuff, and there is a thing called noise complaint, and especially with the final week approaching, everyone is studying, and this act right here is very disturbing and cringy. But let's not think about that, because the more I think about it, the more I question myself. So, what is it going to be about? today so the mindset of a student we talked about how was my first year experience more or less and talked about the struggles of being a basically cs major or any science major which just isolates you from people and puts you next to these assignments huge workloads and you're having fun so the mindset of a student is what i'm going to talk right now so practically let's start with the basic thing which is the three stages of a student I saw this somewhere else but it's so accurate I saw it before I came to the university but once I came here very true so the first week as I mentioned before is like a meet the people get used to the place type of thing and basically everyone is just like brain dead and like sleeping and at this point i don't know life seems pretty good it feels like a holiday trip i don't know a summer school or whatever because you're like oh meeting all these new people having some interesting events outside or inside the weather is nice etc and uh, you think to yourself yeah i mean it started but it's just the first month do I really have to think about the work that much? Do I have to really study like all day and stuff? And basically all you do is you copy homework. And then this is the first month and basically stage one, sometimes two months, depending on the workload. Then there is the second stage where the student wakes up and this is the stage which I would like to simply call what and this is when it's already like halfway through the thing and it's usually midterm season if you have a midterm and at this point you are realizing this like before the midterms you're like hmm yeah actually I remember that I have to study something instead of just copying slash doing homeworks usually copying and then uh, the idea is you're like okay so what's going on? What should I be doing? Then you have this trouble with midterms if you have them and you somehow write something you don't care. It's like what, 25% or whatever. You're like, mm, yeah, okay. It was, it, it's more than 50 or 60%. It's fine. I didn't even study at all. That's what you say to yourself. And at this point you're saying, yeah, okay. For the finals, I will study. But not now, because the midterm is just passed, and I'll have a break again. For, for one week, you say. I'm just going to do the homeworks, not overthink, overload myself right now, because I overloaded myself before the midterm. And if you don't have a midterm, it's the point where you're like, oh, I spent half of the semester already, should I start studying now? And you're like, I'll start revising, and once the time comes up, I'll study heavier and the third stage is just an exclamination mark and like yeah literally so this is the stage where it's uh final week or close to final week and you realize that you didn't do anything and in the what stage what you what you did was uh, basically this 
which is impressive, of course, if you were a plant, but you are not, and you have to study. And at this point, you're just panicking. You're like, I have a final. Then you open the topic list. The topic list is two pages long, and you're like, oh my God, I don't know even the first topic. What am I going to do? And then you start uh, going to YouTube. Uh, thank God we have YouTube. And you have these uh, explain me this, explain calculus one in two minutes, whatever. <laughs> and you start like reading this, trying to understand everything at the same time, basically overloading yourself with anything possible. And by the next day that you read everything, all the things that you did, all the tutorials that you saw, the sites, the whatever. And then the next day you just wake up, look at the thing again and you're like, what? And practically you start understanding that you cannot learn everything in one day, which is a shame, of course, but is the reason why university takes four years. What a surprise. And the thing is, this is the stage where you will usually go to lunch or dinner and people will be saying, ah, oh, we are going to have this final, but I don't know anything. And you're like, yes, I don't know anything myself. And the other guy is like, oh, no, we are dead, comrade. Basically, good game. Uh, everyone gets <laughs> dumped by the exam equally. Good job. And every time at the end of the stage, you and your friends tell to each other and yourself the following exact sentence. Next time, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to study next semester. And this is the cycle of university. This is how all your four years are going to pass. Well, that is, unless you're this guy who is super great with scheduling and stuff. Well, then, problems up to you. I wish I were like you in a way, but yeah, I guess we're not all equal after all. And in this point, there is also this popular thing. If you have a library next to your university, you'll see this happening a lot. Everybody just migrates to the library. Like, okay, I mean, personally, most of my study material is online and on the computer, like everything that the professors give us, etc. And this actually applies for most of the majors in this university, I don't know about the rest, but basically going to the library is practically useless because you don't go there and open a book from the library to read it. No, you usually take your laptop and read there. Well, okay, there is a fair debate that the library is more quiet than the room. I mean, just take a moment and listen. I'm the only one who makes noise here. So in general, there is this group of people who are always at the library because they are just used to the idea, like they're taking themselves off their room and they go to this workplace, like going from home to office, basically keeping the room for relaxation and stuff. But on the other hand, there is this group that knows that such thing exists, that the smart people of course, that doesn't mean that if you're studying in the room, you're not smart, but generally those uh, saying nerds is, is going to be wrong, but you get the idea. Go there and adopt the idea that if you're away from the room, you're not going to waste your time. Procrastinate, I believe was the word. Sorry if I'm killing English right now. And they're like, hmm, so if I go to the library as well, then I'll study as good as that guy. And, uh, well, no, good morning. No, uh, that guy is good at studying no matter the environment. He can study good in his room as well. He just prefers the library. Making you, like, making yourself going to the library is not going to increase your mark. You will still have to read. And the library is, well, getting crowded and more crowded. And trust me, sometimes this place is more silent than the library because it's full of people and that's the fact like you can easily distinguish these two types of people the ones who really like 
drew the line and said, okay, in my room, I'm going to relax and stuff. And the library is going to be like my office, like my workplace and have this mentality to work. And this is actually benefiting them. And those people who are just in the last week and they're like, oh my God, I have to study. And they just follow blindly, just a hey, study equals library. Uh, yes, just tell me everything. Well, yeah. So that's the general thing that's happening. And of course, at the end of the finals, they're just like, yes, freedom, my Finally, it's over. Oh my God, that's the reaction you have every time. You're just feeling like you saved the world or something. I don't know. And yeah, on that note, I'm going to end this one as well. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. For those who are in university with me, good luck. Uh, for those who already graduated, Congratulations, and for those who have yet to come to the age to go to university, I wish you the best of the luck, but don't, don't start off by thinking, ah, oh, this is just the first week, let me not do anything, no, just study right away, trust me, it's much better, because once you let go of that rope, you can never catch up with it again until it's the next year i mean the whole i'm gonna study next semester thing is usually said by the people who are not going to be studying the next semester either because the break between two semesters is non-existent i mean the first two but summer break is a nice one to recover and i wish you a wonderful day i'll see you in the next video goodbye